Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a timeless spirit message, so whenever you've drawn to it is when you're meant to hear it. Please remember it's a general reading. You can look at your sun and moon, or you, you can look at your moon and rising signs rather, for greater clarity if this doesn't resonate with you. If it does, please like, share and subscribe. Time to go. We're at a nine, so you need to make this decision now. We're nearly at the 10, so it's time to leave something behind here. It's no longer serving you. Boundaries. Now, it could be that your boundaries are being challenged here. It could be your ethics, your morals. If there's something you strongly feel about here. Or what Spirit's saying is look at your boundaries here. There might be somebody that's overstepping the mark. If you have good boundaries, the right people will respect you. So don't let anybody disrespect you here. You know, don't let your guard down. Don't say yes when you mean no. Stick to your guns here. You've got your own boundaries and they're valuable. And if people don't respect your boundaries, then they're not worth it. Amethyst. Amethyst. Revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. Now, this is about being your true authentic self. Don't be frightened to speak up. Don't be frightened to have your own rules, your own set of morals, your boundaries. But there's somebody here, there's something you need to leave, leave behind because your boundaries are being challenged, possibly. But we'll see, see what Taro says. Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. The Seven of Wands, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Overall central energy is the star card. And the Ten of Wands. So you've got the Nine and the Ten here. The beautiful young Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Now, what we've got here is we've got the Seven on time to go. We have got the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords can be somebody trying to get away with something. There's trickery. Or you're learning about something here that isn't sitting well with you. So this is definitely about your boundaries and about your true self, your traditional values, how you're feeling about people, situations and environments that you're around. We want to take this knowledge and use it to our advantage. Now, you can see him taking what he wants out of this and leaving the rest and he's walking away. So we need to let go people that are challenging our boundaries, people that are deceptive, people that are trickery, trying to get away with things, people that aren't honest. People that don't, you know, things, environments that don't sit well with us. Because this is challenging. It feels like you're in a situation where it's been one thing after another. Now, these are all karmic lessons that you've learned here. And you're still standing. And Virgo, you're still standing. But these are lessons to be learned. And you've gained enough knowledge now to know uh, that being around these type of people or in these type of environments is not working for you. And really, we want to get away from these challenges. We want to walk away, like I say, he's picking these things, he's taking this information, he's thinking about it and he's walking away. And that's what needs to happen for you. And when you do that, your challenges will end. Now, it feels like you've got the whole weight of the world on your shoulders here just now. But this can end for you by um, standing your ground, using the lessons you've learned, like I say, to put these challenges to an end. Now, this is all knowledge you've gained. It's all knowledge you've gained. And what Spirit is saying here is that it could have been something you've inve been investing in and been patient with. It could be a personal environment, a situation, a financial situation, whatever it may be for you that you've been investing in for a wee while. But you've got to decide now whether it's become too challenging and whether you're prepared to put enough any more effort in. It can also be that you're choosing to leave things behind and you're starting to make your own decisions. Now, this could be you here being becoming single or being single-minded and making these decisions. You don't have to be single, but for some of you, it could be. This is about you coming into your own. This is about your boundaries. You're standing up. You're being honest. You're revealing your true self. You're not happy here. You're, you're regaining back your self-esteem and you've got the confidence here to say, I'm putting an end to these challenges. Enough's enough here. I'm not investing any more into this situation. And this 
is somebody who knows how to create balance in their life or create balance in your life because she's somebody, and I'm saying she is not a gender specific reading, talking about the energies on the cards here. She's somebody who makes good, valuable decisions. She knows how much of herself to invest in a person's situation, project, environment, whatever it may be. She makes good, well-balanced decisions and people respect her for it. She she is seen to be somebody, when people look at her, they see her as somebody who has good boundaries. They see her as somebody who makes good decisions and has a well-balanced life. Now, if you're starting off on your own, it can be that you're prepared here to invest in something new on your own. Uh, start again, whatever it may be. Stand up, be counted if you like, and prepare to invest in whatever it is that you're going to do here. Uh, you know, and you're through time, you realise you will be able to create new things. So it, it's it's entirely up to you what you do here. But you'll know what this is. And this here is about starting to see the blessings again. The universe is trying to bring blessings into your life, but sometimes you can be co so caught up in things that you don't see the blessings. But this Nine of Pentacles, she does. She sees the blessings because she's been true to herself here. And you start to see the blessings that are around you again. Because it can be very difficult when there's deceit around you. You know, people that are deceptive or things that are challenging, people that things that are draining you. Although it's learning experiences, <clears throat> we need to understand that we need to use the knowledge we've gained to go forward. So you'll start to see the blessings again in your life. And what you'll do is you'll start to be able to nurture things, decide what you're going to put your efforts into here. And you'll be able to start to nurture things. You're making these independent decisions. You're making good, well-balanced decisions. And what happens is through time, you can start to nurture things and create great home comforts around you. Now, this can also be good people coming in as well. So it could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy that's coming forward here. And they're being supportive. So it could be a, a good friend. It's a very nurturing energy that could support you at this moment in time. Uh, it could be a mother figure. A maternal type figure. <coughs> excuse me, who's coming forward to help you. Uh, gain stability again and what happens is that you bring stability back you create this very well balanced environment well balanced situations around you and you're very successful and the nine the nine of pentacles she's a young empress she is very successful because she's making these good decisions and she's working hard and focusing on what she's putting her efforts into and she's doing it well she's not doing giving too much of herself so there's nobody draining her dry here you know, it's reciprocal relationships. That's what I'm trying to say. People respect her. They respect her boundaries. And if they don't, then they're not around. And that's what creates the stability around her. So all these challenges, the overall central energy here is, if we look at our boundaries, if people are pushing our boundaries, if things are becoming too challenging in environments, it's time to look at this. It's time to make the changes, make these decisions here. Come into this beautiful nine of uh, pentacles energy now these can be it can feel very upsetting it might be something you learned out the blue but you're going to heal from this it could be a tower moment because after the star card before the star card i beg your pardon comes the tower card and that can feel a bit of upheaval it's that you're at the end there you're, you're at the end now you've had enough now you've been through enough but you will heal from this rejuvenation will come into your life so take this information as a blessing whatever you're learning here whatever you're discovering whatever you're mentally aware of, and use it to bring beautiful things in. And you will heal from this. This is about you becoming, rising up, new hope, rejuvenation, and becoming the star of your own show again. So don't worry, you will recover from these challenges. So don't be frightened to let people go, situations go. It's time to move on. It's time to be your true, authentic self. Be honest with yourself and move on. You're, listen to your intuition. Healing, angel. You will heal. At this very moment, you're being bathed in gold, pink and deep light green. Accept this healing. We, your angels, surround you with wings of love. You are eternally free, eternally fresh and eternally abundant. Absolutely. You don't have to be held to anything. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.